Hey, it's me, Say7. Welcome to part 37 of Hand. And it's time for Breakdown 6. You can see Death is riding his crow. Oh, it's the crow from the last part, Murray. The terrifying procession of unleashed curses. This adds more penalties among curses. Um, this can get kind of tough. I don't think the penalties add too much difficulty. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, look at this. There's new stuff. So this is that ray that I bought in the last part. I guess we can just take it to try it. That's cool. Now for contracts. Uh, I kind of want to take it easy. Nullifier is pretty good here. Especially since it's for free. What is this? Sepulchral Ray. Best taste in magic varies depending on his experience and, of course, his mood. At the height of his power, back when he was the head of the deadliest multinational in the universe, made up spells always felt very bling. Now that burnout has worn him down, his desire to get things done as quickly and efficiently as possible has led to a preference for more modest curses. Sepulchral Ray is an excellent example of this. This shoots you with an arcane laser and you die. Nice and simple. What? Oh, you can spam the hell out of that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now what is with this? You can just go right to Brad. Okay, I'm actually gonna take that. Uh, we'll stay with the regular scythe. Yeah, what's the purpose of skipping all this? Ah, no! Someone took one of my four color pens from my personal stash. This means war. Okay, let's see what this is. This is weird. Can you just skip to the bosses for every floor now? Oh, here he is. The wizened old mummy with the bad dress sense. Take a look at what casual Friday should look like. We're a trendy company now. Yeah, open shirt. First thing is he actually believes it. There's not a hint of doubt in his voice. Wait, that like tracks him. It explodes? I wonder how many hits that needs. And I got the Fury. Oh, it's a laser show. Should die. Yep. The selfie is the look. The paddle ball is not a good fit. We have a certain reputation to uphold, Brad. My guardian gargoyle should set the example. Dude, so I skip everything just to fight Brad. I'm not sure how I feel about that, because I lose out on gaining a lot of curses and equipment. Um, I'm going to take the heal. I 
Ah, oh, that is interesting though. So is it gonna let me do that again for the next apartment? Hey, Mr. Calculator. I spotted a lot of weird stuff in the latest fixed term contracts that were issued. That's not my problem. Take it up with Osha. Weirdly, he told me exactly the same thing. Blah blah for data. He said it was for you. Okay, you're for a fixed term contract. That's abuse, that is. Look, I brought Orville's contract, so you can check the data for yourself. Yeah, but okay, yeah, but, okay, but no. It's Osha who's in charge of this. Sure, we're wasting time for nothing. Have you ever had that happen, where you call in to some company and they keep sending you back and forth to people? Fucking hate that. Good thing your burnout isn't contagious. Yeah, lucky for everyone else. I also don't have to manage all these psychos. Let's see. I think we'll go with toxic food. Oh yeah, and since we're in uh like Christmas week, we're just gonna say Merry Christmas for every part that I make until then. So Merry Christmas everyone. Yeah, I love the holidays. So great. Thanksgiving is always good. Same with Christmas and then New Year's is always pretty interesting. Okay, so I think if that's like five shots and then you get the 50 damage. Yeah. I should actually read the description for this. Pierce a target with an arcane ray, shoots a barrage of piercing arcane lasers, applies arcane. Oh, okay. So I've had this effect before. I've had infuse arcane, and I guess this is what it does. All right, and it looked like it targeted the dead guy. Yeah, so I actually really don't like skipping all of Holly all of Eternity just to fight Brad. Because we're missing out on so much damage. Just because we didn't get all the curses and stuff that we would normally get. himself. Okay, fire room. I want to switch these around. Wait, this is spell too. For some reason I thought this was a cloak weapon. Okay, it does good damage. So if I really want to make use out of the ray, I need a lot of mana regen and max mana. Just to make it really spammable. One more. Oh wait, did that explode in like an area and hit the bubba boom? Hmm. It looks like it might actually explode in an area. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, I don't think I can save this pure heal. This is the way the floor lays out. I don't think I can get back to it. It's weird seeing them explode like that and then not die.
Lots of solary here. Okay, I'm gonna want a fury attack here. Oh, that's not full screen. Okay, so heal eat guys and get like empowered. Oh, he also heals off of that too. Yeah, I'm I'm lacking on damage. Man, this is brutal. I guess that allows you to complete some contracts a lot easier, like ones for completing the first world fast. But I don't remember it. That elevator didn't open the last run. So I'm curious what actually makes it do that. Got hit by that. Actually, I should want to take him out first. So he can hit anywhere on screen. That's actually pretty good fury attack. There's some max mana. Nice, so now I can shoot it, shoot it six times in a row. Not running out. Okay, so I really want to get a cloak weapon. See Gorski? Man, I do not have the damage for the energy fight. Which really sucks. And Gorski, he's kind of easy to dodge his attacks. Although sometimes he'll use like certain combinations that make it a little tricky. So probably best not to chance it. It's weird that it shoots like a, at an upward angle like that. Oh, he didn't die.
There's a lot of solary here. Uh, I want to go to HR because that guarantees us a curse. The equipment's also pretty important. Um, I'm going to go consistency and just go with the curse. I'm not guaranteed to get like a decent weapon or spell. At least I'll, with going with the curse, I'll be able to start building into a tree. Get hit by the Polo's long attack. Oh, this guy hit again. And through the wall. Oh, and I got hit by his death throttle. deals plus I damage ooh spell mana cost reduction like 10% and I can get two upgrades on the ray arcane deals plus 15 bonus damage all right. Oh, I can't get the second upgrade. Whoops. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's all I'll take. Yeah, I feel so underpowered. Sugar is very, very harmful to your health, boss. Drinking more than 30 Harakulas may lead to... I don't drink them. I kill them. I don't drink the stuff. Good grief. Well, sometimes a little, like, falls on us. He, like, sprays it into us. It seems like Arcane just stays on them though, which is pretty cool. So you can kind of set up when you want the big burst of damage to happen. Ooh, almost caught me. These are fast. Yeah, this is a little tricky to dodge. Yep. What the heck? I've never seen him do that. Also need to heal.
Okay, so this is actually what you wanted. Do you want to stay close to him <laughs> when he does that? I think you just get behind him and get a lot of damage in. I like to buy the world a drink that's bubbly and spicy, sharp on the tongue, and tastes like dung. Oracle is for me. Z -z -boop. Not suitable for children under six. Make name traces of polyurethane. Do not shake. Ah, now I understand. Someone turned off my ad blocker. <laughs> Ooh, more damage. Take that. Articolo can hide underground. We won't see this anymore, so we'll take this. Dude, what, what Waldo was saying about the Harakula, it sounds like the Flaming Hot and Mountain Dew. Making reasonable decisions is easy. All I need to do is be cruel at the right time. True. What's this I see on the schedule, Patty? You've already worked 33 hours this week. Is that normal? Actually, I took an extra five minutes of break time, so I have to... 33! It's only Tuesday. You've already completed your quota. Don't be stupid. Tuesday? Oh dear. I think I'm out of sync. I don't even remember what I was wearing yesterday. Dude, what? Did he work an entire day? <laughs> like an actual 24 hours? That's nuts. Okay, addiction is going to be brutal. So I'm going to go with physical illness. Feels like this spell stuns really easily too. Whoa. Okay, explosion. Yeah, the enemies are just like not taking damage. This is what I always say about World 3. Because they get that plus 5 uh, defense. They become really hard to kill. It's weird that it shoots at like a slight upwards angle. It's like the ray is trying to shoot him in the eyes. <laughs> I think if I want to hit multiple enemies in a line... I was gonna say jumping might be better, but... Having like infused mana regen would be really nice. Let's go with cursory roll. 
We can get rerolls, curse, or a nullifier. This little arcane effect though, it looks like they get a bullseye on them for crosshairs. One <laughs> for the big slam there. Oh, something I should have mentioned at the start, or I guess when we're choosing the contracts, I actually really like that they added that you can choose the new stuff you buy. Because a little, like, I guess lore with the, um, my playthrough of the game is I had a series of runs where I would only get Starry Halo, and I would not get any of the new stuff I bought, like, at all. And what I'm trying to do is kind of showcase all the weapons and stuff, because, I mean, all of them are really cool. And I like all the unique play styles. Like, that's what make, makes uh, roguelike games so fun. It's how every run is unique. Or it's, it's supposed to be, right? I think the explosion actually is applying to other enemies. Did the heart exploding hurt the other one? Oh, he didn't take damage from falling. I thought that'd kill him. I like how fast this spell is. This is actually- oh, did not mean to go down that far. Okay, trying to create like an angle to hit multiple enemies is a little tough. But it has some range to it. It's like almost full screen. Or I guess half a screen. And you can kind of cheese enemies by doing that. Ooh, infuse bleed. Yeah, I'll take that. So bleed basically adds stacking damage. Every time you hit an enemy. And I think at base, uh, without any extra curses, it goes up to 10. 10 is the max stacks, so that every hit you do will apply an extra 10 damage. And that'll be the red numbers you see 
I think you see it's going to four. Yeah, that's pretty good for the spell. Anything that hits multiple times or hits really fast is great for bleed. We got some temporary max mana. Now we have all injuries, which is the grayed out part of the health bar. Okay, I think the left is where I'm supposed to go. You have to do like a slight jump. If you're gonna try to hit multiple enemies that are close together like that. Or you have to be far away. It's like the it shoots towards either their chest or their eyes. Like it has some kind of built-in auto-aim to it. And I've been up there. Yeah, this is a really interesting spell. Also, it seems like the arcane, like you can see how it's just like one. Oh dang, I'm gonna have to test it out. It looks like the effect gets more intense as you're about to activate arcane for that bonus damage. Yeah, it gets like bigger and it glows brighter. Prismium. Whoa. What the heck? Three gold anima? If only I could use that many. Okay, so I'll actually fight Dengu, the mosquito man. Oh yeah, so let's look at the build up. There's one, two. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Okay, wait for my mana to come back. Now we'll fight. They're like directly above you, it doesn't target it target them that well. Oh that's weird. Oh this is new. Oh, I've never seen him do that before. He watched this at such a weird angle. And he's going fast.
Bell sling launches crows. Okay, that's good. Hanagers inflict poisoned damage over time. Definitely don't want that. Shop price increase. Not the worst. I I do have three nullifiers. I'll just nullify this. I don't want to go to the control room. I'll finish upgrading the ray. Yeah, so pretty big damage on Arcane. And then I'm just going to upgrade the scythe. I need the uh, extra damage. Now we get to fight Crank. The plan is working. Everything is going according to my calculations. Oh no. Now it's his turn. He's going to try to convince me this is this all makes sense. He is a crazy crab. Ooh, thought that was going to catch me. That almost did. Ooh, that's not good. You can actually see the crows too. That was cool. Ah, no. A defeat. A failure. It's still not enough. Enough for what? I cannot die. I am death. D-E-A-T-H. Death of the Speller of Words. Okay, mana regen. Ooh, this is good. If I actually had a like a spammable cloak weapon, this would be what I want. Hmm. I guess I'll take the mana regen. Yeah, I didn't know cranks like little crabs could shoot projectiles. So I accidentally got hit by that. <laughs> Mr. CEO, sir, I've had a brilliant idea. Don't tell anyone, but it's for the Death Inc. Amateur Dramatic Society. We're going to put on a little musical inspired by The Little Mermaid. And I was thinking, Mr. Hector Crank could play the crab. So? Honestly, he'd be perfect, wouldn't he? Uh, he's a little... big. Heals injuries? Hmm. I'm gonna hold out. Maybe, uh, this is Modern Warfare. Yeah, I'll just take that. Anytime, boss. I'm glad to see you looking so well. It's a good sign. It means your special training is working. Onward and upward. 
Yes, yes, onward and upward. Actually, since you're in charge of this type of thing, is your company musical still happening? Patrick mentioned that you're rehearsing The Little Mermaid. Indeed we are, boss. It's a big undertaking. We're going to try and get Mr. Crank to play Sebastian, the singing crab. This year's show is going to be incredible. I'm sure, but are we talking about the same Hector Crank? I really saw him as much of a comedy act. Costumes! I completely forgot to talk to Muriel about the stage costumes. Oh dear me, it's really important. Sigh. Hmm, have fun organizing everything. I don't think Crank is gonna be a good Sebastian. Crows are flying so fast, it's kind of hard to actually see them hitting anything. But it does help stack bleed really fast, which is nice. mana. Okay, this is kind of rough. I probably should have waited to pick that up. Whoops. I thought that explosion was going to hit me, so I tried to re attack for the invincibility. Okay, pure heal. That's good. At least the game's showing me a little mercy. Oh, it's Muriel. Counseling the grace and the depth of the oceans, molding the wave, understanding ebb and flow, creation, perspiration. If you wish to disturb her, and you should know she is lost in the throes of creativity. Disturbing a genius costume designer is a crime as heinous as they come. Don't take long, it's about. Shush, shush, shut up. That's it. A mermaid's tail, an enormous wave, and as a centerpiece, Hector Crank in his simple outfit. Revealing his true crustacean nature. Sorrow bows out to make way for the actor. Pure genius. I don't even know why I try. It's as ridiculous as it is ca catastrophic. Now leave her. She must give instructions to the young R&D technician to create the posters for the show. Dude, Crank's not gonna do it.
Whoa. But it seemed like those shots actually almost tracked me a little bit. So, is this one stuck in the corner? <laughs> hey, who taught you how to fly? Also, with these uh, cataracts, I think they they made the rocket uh, red, so you can actually see it now. It wasn't always like that. to use the pure heal. Whoops. Okay, so I kind of wasted a heal. Uh, that's definitely not going to be good for my health. You know, it is possible that we still get a decent... Uh, secondary weapon, because I'm not really using fire arrow. Because when you get a weapon later on in a run, they usually come upgraded at least to one or two. Okay, this termination is good for arenas. I kind of want boss fight stuff. So I think the spell damage is probably the best thing here. And I don't want either of those. Because we're still going to have bombers in this part. Or in this uh, department. We still got like four floors to cover. And the drowns are going to be in natural disasters and they're pretty annoying. Uh, so let's go to the cloak store, try and get a cloak weapon. I imagine no matter what it is, I'm gonna switch out fire arrow. And I'm gonna use this pure heal. test out if this arcane feels like damage in an area. I feel like it is, but I can't 100% tell. that that became a pure heal. A little coffee is only heal your injured HP and currently I have nothing but missing HP. Wait, why don't you fall off the edge? Her beak glued to that? What the heck? Dude, they can't do anything when I'm up here.
I want to get in there and use my fury attack. Actually, really surprised I didn't get hit there. Oh, we got Slave Martin. You can see it's already upgraded to one. Gives us more max HP. And Slave Martin is really good. Cloak weapon. Uh, yeah, I'll fight. Flage. Flage. Camouflage. Some of, some of her attacks got changed up to be a little more deadly. Ooh, secret room. Actually, that's actually a good trade. I get to use a golden anima to get another one. So I heal up. And I get it back. Okay, so it also seems like if you're too close to enemies that are like above you, then the laser won't track them. So it's in like a weird cone. Like, see, it's not tracking there. See how this goes. Okay, flip that. Ooh, that is still invincible. She's so scary. We'll do another. Oh no. Oh, she delayed that so much. One more? Yep. Yeah, usually what'll happen if you're on a corner and she jumps to your wall. When she jumps back down to the middle of the floor, she'll do another one towards you. Ooh. Unleashes a wave of blood. That sounds cool. Uh, again, though, not good for bosses. I think the max mana is best here. Yeah, I don't want either of those. I'm a little worried about what hiding the interface means. Like, if I can't see my health, uh, that would not be good. Defense. See, ideally you want to like hit both of them with that, but it's just not possible. Oh wait, oh, wait. she can actually fit under here. <laughs> like the little area 
I do want to kill everything. So that we can get drops like that. I don't think the ray hit the the girl there. I think the explosion actually killed her. Gosh, that tracking. Almost cut me twice. <laughs> yeah, that's more rare, so it'll sell for more. If I ever get a shop. And upgrading Slaymore is going to be pretty important too. Because it gives you max HP just from upgrading it. And you also get temporary max HP from killing things. So it's a really good weapon for survival. Oh, we can test this here. Okay, see, yeah, so the explosion does hit in a radius around the target. Okay. Oh, this is just going to be a Bombera arena. Oh, what hit me there? I actually didn't see. Was it the rocket? Dude, that change to the rockets making it red is so... So nice. These arenas get crazy with all the explosions. And generally by this point in the run, usually the player has like a lot of chaos on screen. Or I guess creates a lot of chaos on screen. You're a coward, sir. A coward. With me at the helm, things are gonna run smoothly. Operation Genocidal Thunder. Ah, the worst part is the day isn't even over yet. <laughs> Our will at the bag of bones. Ooh, I can't believe I didn't get hit there. hate this attack. <laughs> it's so annoying.
Oh, yep. Okay, you should be going the second phase. Nope. So you have to destroy that rocket. If you don't, you're guaranteed to take damage. Oh, this is gonna suck, yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, the invincibility didn't last as long as I thought it would. Okay, that's a bad fury. That's all right. Yeah, skipping out on going through the Hall of Eternity and missing all those curses and just like actually getting a weapon or anything made that run pretty bad. That's all right. Even though we lose, since I've already done these breakdowns before, we'll still be able to see the dialogue. So I'm fine with that. Although Muriel's not here this time. Darn, it's a giant crow. You won the bet, so I'll get you the 10 solary. Yep, hehehe, <laughs> I won. I knew Muriel was working on a painting of the boss riding a giant crow. I look like a jackdaw on the security cameras. Bad luck. Okay, new bet, pump. 15 Solary says that you can't touch the inside of Mr. O's coffin. You win? You bet. It's in the bag. It'll be a cinch too, because Mr. O'Sha likes me. If, if you say so, no chance that's true. Yep, a giant crow. And then next time we'll be doing breakdown seven, which take five damage whenever you switch weapons. Uh, this one's not too big of a deal, as long as you don't get bad weapons right off the start. And also, it's not, I don't think it's missing HP damage, I think it's only injuries, so it's not, I mean, obviously you can just heal it back, so. Nice. Next time we'll be doing that. Well, I'll see you then. Peace.